Hey guys, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock tutorial with me, only Eggnog. Today's tutorial will be a playerless basalt farm, and it is literally as playerless as playerless a basalt farm can get. This farm is very easy and very straightforward to build, so we're just gonna get right into the tutorial. And before we hop into the tutorial, I just want to note that this farm takes up an area of 17 long by 11 by 16. So this area would be 17 long, then 11, then 16 up. Also, these are the materials you will be needing for the farm. I will also list all these down in the description so you can go check that out if you would like to as well. To start, you're going to come to the bottom left hand corner of the area that you have found you're going to count one block in and that's where you're going to place a lever flick the lever then place a repeater that is being powered by the lever so it should be facing over there then you're going to come diagonally to the left of the repeater and place redstone coming all the way down you should have placed 12 redstone and then a repeater and after this repeater you're going to place a block with a torch over on the side of that block then a block above the torch another torch then repeat this six more times so block torch block torch block torch block torch and an additional block on top of that last torch this block that you have placed should reach the highest point of this farm you're now going to place three blocks as i have and you're going to break that block as well place a repeater facing into that block also place a block right here and an additional six off of that so one two three four five six just as i have there and you're just going to place redstone on top of all of that as well you can now place a temporary block there with a redstone lamp coming off of that break the block and then place a lever on the lamp now come to the side of this row of blocks and place if uh, normal pistons facing downwards on each and every one of them so you should have seven pistons facing down then place a torch here with redstone coming all along there. All those pistons should be powered. Next, come to this end and place a temporary block here with a piece of blue ice under the block. Go ahead and break that block and just place six more blue ice coming off of here to the last piston. So you should have a row of seven blue ice. Then place another temporary block under the piston and then a piece of soul sand under that block. Break the block and then place six more soul sand coming down. So it should be like that. Next, you're going to place a block right here. Then come back to this spot and place eight coming down this way. Then place two here and you can break this corner. You can then come over here to this side and carefully place a bucket of lava right there. It should flow all the way down to that block. Next, place an observer right there with a temporary block under it and then a slab right there. You could go ahead and break this block and place a repeater on top of the temporary block. Place two blocks here, then another two here, and finally two here. You could go and break that block. Place a repeater facing into this other one that's on three ticks and three pieces of redstone right there. Next, place two blocks here and eight blocks coming off of here. It should end off at this piston. You could go ahead and break this block. Then place redstone on top of every single one of these blocks. Then you could come to the inside and place seven sticky pistons just along there. And on top of those sticky pistons, you're going to have repeaters each on three ticks. So on every sticky piston, you're going to have a repeater on three ticks, just as I have done there. Then come over here in the inside and carefully place a piston facing downwards. Then you're going to go ahead and place six more coming along. So one, two, three, four, five, six, just as I have done there. And right now to test to make sure you have that th stuff right. If you place a block here, this piston should pull it. Then those should push it down. So if you just place a block, just like that. And if you test it multiple times, it should work. And once you have that done, um, we could get going to the next step, which would be coming down here and placing two blocks coming down. Break that block. Place two more blocks coming down. Break this block. Then place two blocks here. And then seven blocks coming down that way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It should end off at that soul sand. And you're just going to place a redstone on all of these blocks, just as I have done. Now come to the front and take some normal pistons. You're going to place seven normal pistons under the soul sand. Now to test that you have that working and that it's all working right, just place the three blocks here. So there's one. Worked. Two. 
and finally three should push it and they should all go through and you keep, if you keep testing this it should still be working next come over to this corner place a block there with a normal piston under the block uh it should be facing downwards you could break that block and then place six more normal pistons coming down this way so one two three four five six and then from this piston you're going to place eight more going down that way so you're going to go one two three four five six seven eight you should have a nine by six um line of pistons here you're just going to fill that in with pistons as well i did mess up you should have a nine by seven a line of pistons so here it should be seven so one two three four five six seven that's correct then one two three four five six seven eight nine and once you have that done uh we're gonna head to the next step which is coming to this piston on the very corner you're gonna place two blocks down from it two blocks to the side then come to this side and place two blocks coming out you could go ahead and break these two blocks place a lever and flick it and a repeater in front of the lever then place a piece of redstone dust here with another repeater on three ticks place two blocks here the repeater should be facing into that block you can break the block on the bottom then place a piece of redstone on that block and a piece of redstone on each and every single one of these pistons uh, as i am doing here make sure the redstone is on every single piston the only issue is now over here all this redstone is connecting so you're just going to place a blocks on top of that to prevent it from connecting uh, and it should all be like that finally you're just going to come over here and place scaffolding at this spot until it reaches the block you are standing on and you're going to come down here and place a piece of scaffolding there you're also going to come over here you're going to place two blocks coming off of here break that block place one scaffolding on top of the block and then four scaffolding coming out of that so one two three oh not there uh three four and that should be your entire farm completed also i do want to stress that in here it should be soul soil not soul sand make sure you do not have soul sand here it will not work if you have that there it's very important that you have soul soil there it'll break a lot if you do not to use the farm you're going to climb up this scaffolding all the way up to the top and you're going to come on top of these pistons to this set of scaffolding and you're going to flick that lever to turn the farm on it should be working as it is you can see there it is all being pushed down to those pistons and as it gets closer and closer to the end the pistons will push it down just like that and it'll all eventually come down to the bottom and once it reaches here it will stop the entire farm and <clears throat> we'll just wait a second for that to happen now as you can see the reason why i call this a playerless basalt farm is because obviously it's all generated and brought down without a player you will obviously have to break it yourself with a pickaxe i do recommend having a pretty pretty strong efficiency pickaxe with a beacon nearby with haste 2 uh, that way everything will be easier to break um and everything will just go by faster so it's not completely playerless but you you could try to make it completely playerless using withers and everything um that's really complicated so <laughs> we're just gonna leave it at that and as the last row comes down it should stop the entire farm wow lag and yeah it should stop going so what you're gonna want to do before you break anything is climb all the way back up now you don't have to be around the farm while it's going by the way um you could you could just be like out there as long as you're in the chunks anyway come back up here flick that lever again so the lamp is off then you're gonna come down to this piece of scaffolding and just start mining start mining all the basalt look how fast you mine it with efficiency five and haste two just want to make sure that you do not mine any of the actual like farm but only the basalt i mean look at this Look at this. This is going to give you basalt for days. You could have like a wall around so the basalt doesn't fly everywhere and so you get everything. But yeah, this just, this works very well, guys. I'm very happy with this farm. And I hope you guys are too. I hope you guys tried it out or at least are thinking of trying it out. And let me know in the comments if you do try it out and how it went. Also, let me know if you have any questions. Obviously, there is the um, super fast, super efficient basalt farm that already exists. But I just wanted to make one that doesn't require you um, standing in AFKing for too long. You could just go in when it's all done and break it when you want. Um, I thought that's just, I don't know, 
whenever you need it you could use it also this farm can really be built in the overworld it's just that i don't recommend it as it'll be much slower obviously because lava flows slower in the overworld than in the nether and the lava flow is very crucial to the speed of the farm so if you really want to build it in the overworld i mean go ahead but I'm warning you, it will be slow and not as fast as it would be in the nether. Getting down to the last layer, and I already have to- Oh, I've broken the floor, but I already have tons of basalt and a broken some redstone. Anyway, I already have tons of basalt uh, in my inventory. We're about to- We're going to collect all this, and we're about to see just how much we have. <laughs> so, we have nine stacks, almost ten stacks of basalt. That is insane, guys almost 10 stacks of basalt i mean wow that's a lot of basalt that is a lot of basalt from this farm so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys tried out the farm again if you did let me know in the comments and if you have any questions let me know in the comments as well i want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and i hope to see you guys in our next video